What's up, Saiyan Army? Welcome to the video. So today we got a new clan transformation video for you guys. As always, before we get into it, I want to shout out and thank my client Eduardo for allowing me to share his transformation and pictures with you guys. And not only that, but just going above and beyond and also recording some training clips for you guys. Like a lot of you guys who seek motivation and inspiration through his videos, Eduardo was in the same position. He sat at home watching one of my transformation videos, thinking to himself in his head, could that be me? Can I do that? Can I ever look like that? Can I get abs? Would this work for me? And the answer is yes. I've helped so many people from every walk of life, from every age, from every ethnic background transform and make awesome progress. So if you're at home thinking that, if there's one thing that you leave this video with after watching it is the belief that anyone can do this. He or she who puts in the work will reap the rewards and the results and the gains. So. Let's get right into it. All right, so a little background on Eduardo. He is 25 years old, 5'8". He's been training for five years. His starting weight was 165 pounds with the goal to just be happy with what he sees in the mirror. But the ultimate goal was to get abs. So understand that abs don't equate to happiness and if you're healthy, you should be happy. That should be your number one goal is just to get healthy. And secondly, like abs is a, not saying it's not a great goal. Whether you want to look good for girls or look good on the beach, it doesn't matter, but abs are a great goal. One of my favorite things about, you know, being an online coach and about my job is helping clients see abs for the first time. It's one of the most fulfilling and rewarding things ever and yeah i just love it so prior to coaching he was training five days a week what we did was we increased his workout to six days a week increased the volume just a little bit and we put him on a version of my super saiyan 6 program which you can download at saiyanarmy.com here's his before pictures he has a decent physique you can tell he works out you can tell he lifts you can tell it in his chest and in his arms he's just holding a lot of body fat i also asked eduardo if he had anything to share with you guys and this is what he had to say i started my fitness journey five years ago by deciding that I wanted to be the best version of myself possible. My plan was to watch Dragon Ball all over again from episode 1 and train every day in my room doing bicep curls, crunches, and sit-ups as I watched the episodes. Good idea. For those of you guys who don't know, that's what inspired me to start training and working out. This inspired me tremendously because I was getting stronger and training and so were the characters. I felt like I had to just keep up with Goku. I then enrolled in my local gym during the summer, discovered more workouts and found more inspiration from movies and people like Rocky, Bruce Lee, Ziz, Arnold, and of course, me. After graduating college, I took training to the next level. I want to be a hybrid between an all-around athlete and a bodybuilder. Look great, but also perform great. I started to know what bulking and shredding and macros were. I was feeling good and performing good, even winning a local deadlift competition. However, I did not know that I was doing it all wrong. When I would cut, I would eat less, train harder, and work, overwork myself with cardio, which resulted in me losing muscle and being skinny. When I would bulk, I would eat so much junk food and many meals that resulted in me feeling strong but having so much body fat and gaining weight. I could never feel or look the way I wanted. Going to the gym and dieting felt like a routine and I was tired of feeling like I was stuck. That's when I decided to reach out to Matt. Matt guided me with a workout slash cardio program and helped me have a great tracking record of my weigh-ins and macros each week. Having someone with so much knowledge and who I look up to guiding me was an amazing experience. My biggest goal was to see my abs and I was able to achieve that and more. Each week I felt stronger, leaner, faster, and overall happy. This has been the most important investment I have ever made my health. Matt helped me turn healthy eating and nutrition into a lifestyle, which be a part of my life forever. I hope my story is able to inspire others. It is never too late to ascend. Week 1, starting macros, 250 carbs, 55 fats, and 170 grams of proteins. Starting cardio was one session of 300 calories. His average win was 159.4 pounds. So as always, like in week 1, all we're trying to do is just build some consistency. Uh, Eduardo hasn't really tracked macros consistently before, so we just want to help him build that consistency, get, get him used to, to working out 6 days a week, hitting his cardio. That's why I don't really start cardio too high in the beginning because I just want him to build consistency with his macros and his workouts first and without worrying about you know two three four plus cardio sessions. I've he heard like ridiculous cardio sessions that, that some coaches put on in the first week and diet plans on all this stuff and meal plans and that's something I will touch up on later in the video but here's his week one pictures as you can see 
he looks exactly the same as the first week maybe a little leaner it looks like he lost some of the water weight as i mentioned in a lot of other transformation videos something very common with clients is they like to binge before they start the transformation which is totally fine it's just you'll see a lot of water weight being dropped in the first couple of weeks but yeah he looks a little bit leaner abs coming in a little bit more obviously he's, he's flexing in every single picture which is fine because it stays consistent throughout the entire transformation week two macros 250 carbs 55 fats 170 grams of protein we up cardio to two sessions of 300 calories again we're just building that consistency slowly up increasing cardio his new average win was 159.2 pounds so weight pretty much stayed the same here's his week two pictures as you can see his physique looks pretty much identical maybe slightly leaner if you look closely it looks like his abs are coming down a little bit more you can see a little bit more definition coming down but that's just being really nitpicky and that's something I highly don't advise any of you guys watching is to get too nitpicky on your pictures like me as a coach it's okay but for you and if you're going through your progress pictures don't worry about it just continue and from his back it looks pretty much the same I mean just slightly more definition lighting maybe a little bit different because you took it at a different time but everything's relatively the same and we're still just building that consistency also from this week moving forward we will be skipping every other week so we'll be going to weeks 4 6 8 10 and 12 reason being is I don't want this video to be overly long however I will include all the information and details from every single week in between so you guys can follow along week 4 macros 225 carbs, 55 fats, and 170 grams of proteins. Cardio went up to three sessions at 300 calories. New average low weigh-in was 157.9 pounds. So being in week four, he only dropped about two pounds. Like I said, we're just building that consistency, trying to gauge his metabolism and his body. Here's his week four pictures. His stomach is leaning out even more. If you look closely, you can see it coming just a little bit lower. And that's totally normal for people to lose weight from the top coming down their lower belly lower stomach oblique area just like in majority of these transformations that's the last place you're gonna lose your fat and same thing for eduardo from the back lighting looks a little bit different and it looks pretty much the same not too much difference from the side you can see his arms leaning out nicely his shoulders are getting nice and capped which he pretty much had zero definition prior and like I mentioned before in other transformations most people will lean out from the outside working in so you'll notice your arms leaning out before you know your abs so that's totally normal let's keep on going week six macros 225 carbs 55 fats 170 grams of proteins cardio was four sessions at 300 calories one which which was a hit session that's a high intensity interval training session and his new average low weight was 155.8 pounds so he dropped about eh, point seven pounds from the week prior which is totally fine slower is always better especially when your goal is to maintain a healthy metabolism and maintain your muscle mass as well also real quick i just want to touch on diet plans because i brought it up earlier in the video i just want to touch on it now so one of the reasons and this actually stems from one of my new clients that i just got he came from a previous coach that gave him this carb cycling plan that put him on like 1500 calories and he had to follow the meal plan every single day yes he lost weight but he said he just hated how you know the coach went about it and he hated how strict the plan was and that's one of the reasons why all my clients follow flexible dieting unless they're like keto or they unless they have a certain preference for how they want to diet a majority of my clients follow flexible dieting meaning they learn the nutrition and the foods that they love to eat and they learn how to fit it in their macros every single day and the reason why I prefer it that way is because people think of dieting like an on and off switch like people especially when it comes to meal plans they think okay when I follow this meal plan that's when the diet's on when I don't don't follow this meal plan that's when the diet's off and it shouldn't be like that diet as everyone says is a lifestyle and in order to make it a lifestyle I highly recommend people to understand their nutrition and that's what flexible dieting helps you do I let each and every client so Eduardo got to pick and choose each and every food that he ate I didn't tell him what to eat all I gave him was the guidelines to follow like get in your daily fruits and vegetables hit this amount of fiber obviously his macros his fast carbs and proteins but everything else fitting in that he was allowed to choose if he wanted to eat ice cream every single day and fit in his macros then by all means he could have done that but just closing this out that is the reason why I don't believe in meal plans and never recommend it and don't make any meal plans for any of my clients once coaching is finished I want the client to understand you know or just an idea of you know when they have a plate of food in front of them how much calories it is how much fats are in it how they're gonna balance the rest of the meals for the day just having that idea even an estimation will help you keep this long term and that's the goal here's his week six pictures physiques getting tighter abs coming in even more 
back definition coming in a lot more obviously it looks like he is retracting a little bit more but his back's coming in he has really thick back i mean if it, i had to guess his strongest body part was would be definitely his back it gets even better i'm looking at the previous weeks so it gets even better from the side his arms are coming in his arms look like noodles prior to coaching but his shoulders are getting capped his shoulders actually look a lot bigger which is probably just because he just lost a lot of the fat covering his shoulders triceps coming in and let's just keep on rocking week eight macros 225 carbs 55 fats and 170 grams of proteins cardio four sessions 300 calories one hit session Average low weight was 150.5 pounds. That's another three pound drop from week seven. And spoiler alert, the macros and cardio does not change for the rest of the transformation. Reason being is if it's not broken, don't fix it. One of the common problems that I see when people start dieting is they try to, you know, they try to rush the process. Understand that fat loss is a marathon, not a sprint. Small progress is better than no progress. And that little progress over the span of weeks, months, maybe even years, will equate to tons of gain, tons of progress, and tons of long lasting progress. Because studies show the slower you do it, the more likely you are to keep it off. Here's his week eight pictures. As you can see, abs are finally in. Not just the top abs, not just the middle abs, but you can see like some lower ab definition finally coming in. Yes, I understand that every single picture is flexing just like his week one pictures was flexing too. It's just he couldn't see as much because he wasn't as lean. His back is popping. The back thickness is looking great. From the side, shoulders are looking more capped. Triceps are coming in. I mean, it, just looking from week one, the difference in his arms is crazy. He's definitely recomped a little bit as well with increased volume. His lips all went up slightly. Nothing too drastic, but we'll talk about that at the end. But let's keep on going. Week 10, macros, the same. 225 carbs, 55 fats, 170 grams of proteins, cardio four session 300 calories one hit session average low weight was 147.2 pounds and here's his week 10 pictures so posing was a little bit different but abs are in lower abs are in looking diced and lean do you need to get that lean no a majority of my clients don't for him he we didn't have to drop calories drastically low we didn't have to do anything drastic. We just kind of kept everything the same and he just leaned out week by week. And the more calories you can diet on, the better. So here's his back. As you can see, Christmas trees in from the side. You can see some shoulder striations and just his vascularity and just everything. He is looking great. Week 12, the final week. Macro is the same, 225 carbs, 55 fats, 170 grams of proteins, cardio four sessions, 300 calories, and one hit session. New average low weight was 144.6 pounds. And here's his final pictures. He is diced, veins coming out of everywhere, abs are in, chest striations coming through. I mean, just striations coming through everywhere. He is looking great. Um, from the back, his Christmas tree is popping. The side arms are capped, vascular triceps popping. Here's his week 12 videos in comparison. So something new I'm doing with clients is also having them send in videos. It helps me as a coach to see more than what the pictures show. And also it helps for these transformation videos because you guys can see the before and after. Also before we end the video, here's Eduardo's lifts. So before coaching, his squat was at 275 pounds. We got it up to 295 pounds. His deadlift started at 315 pounds and we got up to 335 pounds. And these are conservative five rep maxes, not one rep max. Maxes. Spirit bombs or overhead press for those you guys unaware started at 105 pounds. We got up to the big boy plates at 135 pounds, which is impressive. Bench went up from 175 pounds to 185 pounds. So understand that if you're not gaining strength on your cut, but you're maintaining, then that's a win. It's all good because the deeper you get into your cut, the more likely you are to lose strength. And the fact that he actually gained strength while getting this lean is great. And that just shows that you know slow and steady wins the race if we tried to rush the cut yes we could have got him just as lean in a shorter period of time but he probably it would have been more likely that he would have lost more some muscle and he would have lost some strength along the way so slow and steady wins the race don't be caught up in this microwave society we live in just take your time and be patient with it understand that this is something you're gonna do for life for those of you guys trying to get healthy you know your goal should be once you cut that weight and once you get into a healthy weight range to maintain it for the rest of your life so don't rush the process just take your time with it that's the 
end of the video. For those of you guys looking to ascend in 2021, you guys are looking for online coaching. I have limited spots available. Yeah, I'm just crazy busy, but I'm trying to help as many of you guys as I can. So shoot me an email, googleflex at gmail.com. For those of you guys who maybe aren't looking for coaching, but are looking for something a little bit cheaper, check out my Sane Shredding program on saneArmy.com. You can download that ebook. It t it's pretty much everything that I knew from all my years of online coaching, my hundreds and hundreds of clients that I've coached and I put it onto one ebook so you guys can do it on your own. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Much love, strength and honor. Aloha.